Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Black 2, and we are once again back on board the Plasma Frigate. You might remember uh, two episodes ago, we were pretty much kicked off the uh, the Plasma Frigate after defeating Zinzalin, uh, and then it flew off into the giant chasm. And the good news is we managed to find it, and we've managed to get on board once again. And now, we've pretty much one step away from checking out what this bit of the Plasma Frigate has in store for us. So, let's see where this takes us. Oh, hello. At last, we meet again. Remember me, formerly a Team Plasma? I've been waiting for you. Ah, that's right. You were the one that, uh, yeah, you helped me um, when I was first on the Frigate, wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it? Gah, spying is such a rotten job. I contacted Rude of the Seven Sages, but nobody showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everyone around me is always saying bad stuff about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed course to a better path. Yet they call him a betrayer. People really stink sometimes. Yeah, they certainly do. They selfishly counted on him, and now they selfishly make a big fuss about being betrayed. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, this floor is a maze of pipes. Ah, oh, awesome. You gotta step on switches to connect or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing you can walk on the pipes. This is indeed a good job. Well, first of all, we've got a computer here, so let's have a look. There is the device. It seems that a card key is necessary to enter a password. Okay. So, we need a password. Well, I see a plasma grunt already, so, um, tell me all. What do you want, intruder? If you can beat me, I'll give you a hint about the password. Well, that's fine. Although a much better prize would be, would be if you just told me what the actual uh, password is, but I guess it's not going to be that easy. Okay, and he's sending out a score rupee. This should be no problem for M Boy. In fact, you know what? We're just going to use. A flame charge, this should be more than enough, indeed it is. I'm going to send out a gold bat, but I am going to switch Pokemon. Let's bring out Ampharos for a change, why not? Yeah, this should be no problem, just use Discharge, of course you are going to use Acrobatics, but you know what, that's foolish of you. Yeah, that's why. Not only is it not very effective, but you've now just been affected by my Static Ability, so yeah, it sucks being paralysed, doesn't it? It also sucks getting massively shocked like that, so um, yeah, that defeat, that was shocking, wasn't it? And next up you're going to send out a Fungus. I was going to bring out Embor again, but you know what? Fungus is part grass type, isn't it? You know what? Let's keep battling. Because, of course, Ampharos now knows a move that can help take on grass types. I said they'll be. See if that does anything. Probably not much, because I think. Yeah, because you're a Pokemon type, but I still did a decent amount, actually. In all fairness, I actually did a decent amount. You are part of grass type, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay, yeah, it's not very effective. I thought so. Okay, you poisoned Ampharos, but you know what? That's absolutely fine. I don't mind, because I've got a ton of antidotes. I bought all those antidotes for a reason. Because they're nice and cheap. <sighs> I missed my chance to grab your Pokemon. Yeah, you failed spectacularly on that. So yeah, antidotes are cheap. I might as well just buy a ton of those rather than waste uh, full heals on them. The password is the name of a legendary Pokemon in the Unova region. Well, I'll tell you what, that actually narrows it down quite a lot, because, well, there's only so many, and considering you're obsessed with uh, certain, like, considering Team Plasma are constantly obsessed with certain legendary Pokemon, it's probably going to be a choice of three. In fact, think about it, it would be hilarious if it was just simply a, something as simple as Curem. <laughs> Surely they're not going to be that stupid. Surely. Anyway, so what's this about pipes? Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. 
But presumably if I press that button, it changes the pipes. Okay, tell you what, let's back it up a bit. Let's see what's in the other direction. Presumably another plasma grunt. Okay. Let's battle you. And let's see what this uh, ends up... Uh, ending up as in terms of information. I trained myself at NLC for two years to get justice for Team Plasma. I won't lose to anyone anymore. Until you encountered me. Ha ha ha. Oh dear, and you're sending out a crocodile. Yeah, it's not going to go well, is it? This is not going to go well for uh, your crocodile. Okay, you are going to use Intimidate, which is kind of annoying, but I should still be able to get away with using Hammer Arm if the Hammer Arm actually hits. Unfortunately, you decided to use an attack that's not very effective against Emble. So, um, yeah, good luck with that, Crocodile. I mean, in fairness, at least it's actually a somewhat decent Pokemon at a decent level as well. So, in fairness, these guys are actually starting to... Um, get a bit smarter with their ch with their Pokemon choices, but they still can't beat me. But if I lose, I won't be able to carry out my justice. Well, that's your problem, not mine. I've already carried out my justice, but there's still a ton of justice for me to uh, unleash. I will carry it out no matter what anyone says, no matter what. Not that you'd know anything about it. Well, I mean, you couldn't even beat me, so you've got no chance, have you? Okay, and this side is exactly the same. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, let's... Let's start with this side, for absolutely no reason. So that locks the pipes that way, which is convenient because I can at least get this item. A zinc. Alright, fair enough. So, let's see. We can go down the stairs. Actually, going down the stairs might not be a bad idea because I kind of want to defeat all these guys just to see whether we can find out more information about the password. Also, I think it said it needed a key anyway, so I think we need to find a key on the ground somewhere. Being inside the ship is boring. I'll play with you. Ah, good. I've been looking for a, a, a new toy to play with and uh, absolutely uh, destroy in a Pokemon battle. So, um, yeah, bring it on. And it's a Scrafty. Yeah, this is not going to go well for you. I wonder if I can get away with Arm Thrust, but knowing my luck, it'll probably only hit twice and it probably won't be enough. But you know what? Let's give it a go anyway. Oh wow, that was a critical hit. Oh wow, the game actually was being rather kind. Wow, two critical hits. Wow. It feels like it's almost guaranteed to only hit twice the first time I use it in every episode, but apparently. Uh, the game was feeling kind today. Wow, I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in absolute shock. I believe it's an electric type. I look forward to seeing how far you can go. Um, that's interesting. I'm going to assume that refers to the clue. In which case, that actually narrows it. Uh, okay, you did want to battle. I <laughs> somehow avoided eye contact with you for like a split second there. I have what you want. But if you want it, you know, don't you battle me. Alright, that's fine. So, I'm, I'm assuming when he said electric type, I'm assuming he was referring to the clue. Well, that pretty much narrows it down absolutely. Anyway, you're going to send out Trubbish. Which is, you know, I mean, that's cute of you, but uh, it's time for Ember to literally take out the Trubbish. <laughs> Lame for our... Actually, you know what? Thinking about it, it would make a lot of sense if... Uh, Trubbish was like, in a way, part like grass type or something because you know, wouldn't wouldn't burning like literal rubbish be super effective? Huh? Got me thinking that. Anyway, Zangoose, let's just use a hammer arm on you. There we go. Easy. <laughs> Why? Uh, because you're part of the bad guys. You're good. I'll give you this then. Oh, that's easy. I've already found the key. A plasma card. So I could technically go up there right now, but you know what? But you know what? I'm not done here. You know what? I'm going to battle every single one of these guys. 
and I'm just going to tell them who is actually the boss around here, and it's certainly not Zinzalin. <laughs> anyway, so that's created a bridge over here. Right over here, in fact. Ooh, items. But first, I, of course, you want to battle me. Stupid intruders. I'm going to blast you into space. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. You're not part of Team Galactic here. You're not going to send me into outer space. And you're not going to try and blast me off like uh, Team Rocket. I'm not going to be blasting off again. If, I, if anyone, if anything, it's going to be you that's going to be blasting off again. Even though, once again, I'm referring to the wrong team. Anyway, you've got a crocker rock. All right. Uh, you know, I'll just use an arm for us. Might be able to get away with it. Oh, very much so. Very much. And get away with that. Very good. Uh, sending out Crocodile. Let's keep battling. Of course, you do have Intimidate, so... I think against you, I am best using Hammer Arm. Yep, there we go. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Oh yeah, Zoroark is growing up very quickly with the levels there. But aren't I one of Team Plasma Stars? Mm, no. Very much not. No. Who's Team Galactic fell apart? Oh, you are referencing Team Galactic. Oh, that's interesting. Then I come all the way to Unova to join Team Plasma and now you. Hang on a minute. Are you implying that you used to be part of Team Galactic? If so, I wonder where. We, I wonder where. I mean, obviously these are unnamed grunts, but that's got me wondering. I wonder. I wonder where. Are you going to tell me where you uh, ended up defeating like a, an alternative version of myself? I'd be curious to know because I better uh, alternative uh, universe me. Also kick the lit living daylights out of you. Ooh, another max revive. Very nice. Uh, I think there was another plasma grunt. Yes, there was. And ooh, is that a doctor? Oh, that's convenient. What's this? You think you could beat me? The one they call Queen of Team Plasma? Oh, you're the Queen of Team Plasma, are you? Well, okay, let's see what kind of Pokemon you have, and I'll be the judge of whether you really do deserve to be called the Queen of Team Plasma. Radicate. Uh, not 100% convinced on Eradicate, especially considering I'm about to use Hammer Arm on you. Oh yeah, right between the teeth. Nah. <laughs> yeah, MSB fell, but that's absolutely fine. I'm not worried about that. And he's sending out a Watchog. Okay, you are pretty much sending out Pokemon. That's going to be very easy work for my Emble. And my speed has gone down, but you're just going to rely on Slam. Ooh, critical hit as well. You're not going to let that Watchog get away with it, are you? No, you're not. Yeah, hammer on right in the face. And down you go. Nice. Your face, it really drives me mad. So, um, what makes you, um, give yourself the title of uh, the Queen of Team Plasma, eh? See, I'm going to take over the world and then make that idiot N pay. That traitor. Just, just his face makes me so mad. Okay, well, I guess you're not going to go into more detail about that. Anyway, what about you? If Team Plasma takes over the world, there should be fewer po uh, Pokemon injured. You know what? Somehow, I don't believe that. If, I, if anything, I think it's actually going to be it's gonna be more injured Pokemon to treat if Team Plasma wants to take over the world. Oh, you're sending out a, a Livani. Oh, dear. I mean, it's level 49. I'll give you that. But, yeah, when you're going against an Ambor, yeah, there's only one outcome here. Very much one outcome. Ooh, very close to leveling up as well. Very good. Tell me, please, just what is a Pokemon battle? Um, we just did one. You, you know that thing that we just literally did just then? That was called a Pokemon battle. It's kind of like basic 101 of, you know, being a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Don't you think there'll be less war if Team Plasma takes over the world? No, because they, if anything, they probably want to cause more chaos. Uh, right, anyway, let's see what's down here. Uh, that's pretty much a 
dead end. I can't get to that grunt unless I switch this. Okay, so I can get to you now, I think. Yes, I can. But I think I have a pretty good idea what the password is anyway. But let's battle everyone anyway, just so we can see for sure. Oh dear, yeah, you are not going to have a good time against my, um, my Ember. You really aren't going to have a good time against my Ember. Oh, you're going to waste time by using agility, despite the fact that you're already faster than my Ember. What a waste of a move that was, and now Ember strikes for the knockout. Very good, very, very good. That's also very good, level 58, excellent stuff. Ah, I won't forgive you. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything anyway. So, just give me a clue about the password, even though... I think I know what it is, a dragon type. Well, in all fairness, that does not narrow it down, because... It's like, literally free dragon types. But, you know what, I think we can figure it out regardless. Anyway, can I get anything up here? Yes, I can. A trainer who battles looking for a password, if you win a battle, you won't necessarily get the answer. You might get something else though, so you don't battle, but there is someone up there that might. So... Let's... Close that bridge so we can get down to you. Surprise! Oh, you look strong. Okay, let's battle, let's battle. Whoa, whoa, calm down, buddy. We're totally going to battle. Totally going to battle. Ooh, and you're sending out a Drapion. And I since remember what type Drapion is. I think you're a Poison and Dark type, so... You know, it's none of my Pokemon can really do anything good. Uh, I think we're just going to use a Flamethrower for now and just hope for the best. I can't use Espeon because... Oh, wow, actually, that did pretty well. I can't use Espeon because, of course, you're part dog type, so psychic attacks won't be any use at all against you. Fighting type moves will only be standard. Because you're poison type, I think fighting type moves are weak against poison types. Or not very effective, rather, against poison types, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, whatever, we can easily get out. Ooh, Nasty Plot, okay. Uh, just remind me, what does Nasty Plot do? Sharply raises the user's special attack. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. Although, as I said in previous episodes, I've got plenty of heart scales, so <laughs> I hate you. So if I do change my mind, I could always uh, go back to the move relearner at the PWT, so it's fine. Hit for the password is a black dragon Pokemon. What was the name? Well, I think we've pretty much I think we've pretty much got the answer now. But I will help myself to a power band. Can I get to you? Yes, I can. All right, you're the last person I need to battle um, in this area. By the looks of it, hand over your Pokemon to me. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. Um, no, it's not going to happen. So um, get ready for an absolute demolishing here. <laughs> Hmm. But you are using a Grimer, though, so presumably you might end up throwing a muck at me. But, you know what? I think uh, Embor should easily take care of the Grimer. Let's see what your next Pokemon's going to be. No, it's a Surviper. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm still going to send out Espeon regardless, so there should be no problem for Espeon. Should be no problem. Mm, you know what? I think we might be able to get away with using a side beam. Indeed, we are. Very good. Very good. What? You can actually draw out the power of your Pokemon? Yes, I can draw out the power of my Pokemon the honest way. 
All right, give you a hint. I think I've figured out what the password is, but go on, give me another hint. Yeah, the password is Z. Well, I think we've encountered everyone around here, so unless I'm very much mistaken, I think we know what the password is. Now I just need to try and get back over to where that computer is. I think it's down this way. Actually, mm, I should have actually healed my Pokemon figure about it. Mind you then again. My Pokemon really need healing that badly. I don't think they do, to be honest. Um, no, nah, you know what? I'm not going to bother healing up the Pokemon. We should be fine. Right, so we've got the card key. We've got plenty of hints, and I think we can safely say what the password is going to be. Uh, doesn't matter if it's all uppercase or not. Well, let's go uppercase anyway. Assuming I can actually remember how to spell this Pokemon. Is, up, is all upper, okay, uppercase okay? Yes, it is. You succeeded in entering the password. Ooh, and there it goes. All barriers are deactivated, and you can proceed now. Excellent. Right, let's do this. Oh, wow, well, there's a closer look of, um, Curum there. The device is indestructible. You will never be able to release Curum. Oh, is that so, Z Zinzalin? And also, where were you hiding? You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Well, you know what, Zinzalin? This is the fourth time we've battled you, and this will be the fourth time that I'll absolutely destroy you. And once again, you're going for a Cryogonal. I tell you what, for someone who doesn't like the colds, he does like using a lot of Ice-type Pokémon. So, yeah, I really don't get you. So you know what? Just use Flamethrower. Ooh, but you're immediately using a Reflect. That's not good. Oh, but it just raises your normal defense. Oh, that's fine. I'm not using uh, physical attacks right now. Yeah. Because this ends up being the stronger option. Yeah, take that, Cryogonal. Oh, you're sending out another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on, Zinzalin. Bring it on, Zinzalin, if you want a nice... Oh, okay. Now you're starting to think a little smarter now. Now you're going to... Okay, you, you're, you, you're, you're just going to delay the inevitable. You do realise that. Okay, that did actually increase its defence ridiculously uh, more so, but you know what? That's fine. We can still... No way! How the hell did that not... Oh my god, screw off, game. No way did you survive that. That should not have happened. Wow, Zinzalin resorting to cheating uh, the system here to try and somehow defeat me, but not even the game can try and screw me over out of this victory. And next up you're sending a Weevil. Let's keep battling. Because of course you're part Ice and Dark type. So you know what, even though we do have a Light Screen on, I think I can get away with using an Arm Thrust. Oh, especially as the game actually decides to be kind. I was half expecting it to only hit twice there. Okay, the game actually was feeling quite generous there. There we go. That's your fourth defeat against me. It is the same for anyone as long as you're dreaming. The dream will never reveal itself to you. Also, thank you for that ton of money. Nice. Oh, that's so much money. Beaten again. No matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Oh, is that so? Well... You know what? Anything else to say? No, you're just going to say the exact same thing. Well, that's fine. What about you? If you intend to continue to step on the other warp panel, keep in mind you're doing... You're going to get a beating if you do. Oh, well, um, there's going to be a beating, all right. But the question, is, the problem is, it's not going to be me that's going to get beaten. Oh, my. And what's this one? That controls... That controls the temperatures inside the ship. And um, what was this again? Oh, I read that too quickly. Oh, the energy system. Okay, yeah. They are absolutely evil, Team Plasma. Don't worry, Kyura. I'm sure we'll find a way to get you out of here. Right, so let's see where this goes. So we just defeated Zinzalin. So who's up here, then? Oh. It's Colress. Okay. 
I had a sneaky suspicion that you were actually part of Team Plasma. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought out by interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasma's and force out all of Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been travelling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you are ready, come at me. You know what? Let's get this done right here, right now, Cold Rest. Let's do this right now. It looks like you're ready then. Let us begin. But I guess he had this plan from the beginning, considering he gave me that device to... Uh, move that, uh, oh he's saying a magneton, oh dear, this is going to end badly for you. He gave that device to move that Pokemon out of the way that was blocking uh, the cave exit in Seaside Cave, which got me to the Plasma Frigate in the first place. Anyway, yeah, your magneton is not going to have a good time, is it? Oh, oh, of course it has sturdy, oh that's just... Uh, that just sucks. That also sucks getting paralysed, but you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. Bring out more of your Pokemon's power. I'll try. Also, considering this is a major battle, I wonder if he's going to try and heal up his Pokemon. Because if so, I might try an Arm Thrust. Oh, he is going to use a full restore. Okay. I think he's suspicion he was going to try and do that. But, of course, I get screwed over by the game now. I was waiting for the time I get screwed over. Old Switch? Alright, I wasn't expecting that, but sure. Oh, and you have a Magnezone. Alright. Oh, come on. Oh, this game is really screwing with me right now. I am not happy about this. I swear to God, if it does it three times, this is something seriously wrong. There we go. Right, hammer arm you, because you are annoying. Of course, you have sturdy. question is, are you going to send out another Pokemon? Or use a item? I tell you what, just to be on the safe side, I am going... Wait, I can bring out Sourcebook. Sourcebook is a fighting type move. Okay, looks like uh, Colress is not going to heal up his Pokemon anymore. Oh, but of course, it still paralyzes my Pokemon. Yeah, there's no point in. Uh, you know, I'll just use an energy ball. Okay, I was not expecting an explosion. All right, fine, just just blow up. Why not? Ooh, wow! Sourcebook actually managed to survive that. Very good. Think clang. Well, let's keep battling. Cole Rest does like to use a lot of. Uh... Okay, you have an air balloon. All right, tell you what. Rather than. Mm, I've got only got one full restore, but you know what? It's probably worth it. Uh, rather than attack, I'm just going to heal up Embor and then bring it back out. I think Swords Book is going to get knocked out anyway. Sorry about that source book, but I kind of needed a bit of time to heal up my Pokemon. And now, let's actually go all out and unleash hell. <laughs> right, okay, Clink Lang. Hammer arm right into one of your many gears. So, what have you just done? Okay, your speed rose sharply and your attack rose. That's fine. Because it's going to be an end. It's going to be a complete waste of time. See? Yeah, you've made Embor angry now, went with that sneaky move there, with the paralysis there. Ooh, you're the, um... You're the psychic type? The ghost type? I keep forgetting what kind of Pokemon it is, so I'll tell you what. 
this actually is a good use for Zoroark. Nice, okay. I mean, I could have used Espion because Espion has a move to uh, take care of those Pokemon, but you know what? Let's just use Zoroark. Oh, I'm sorry, I say Zoroark. I meant um, <clears throat> Espion. Uh, so, use Night Slash. Yeah, you weren't expecting that from a Espeon, were you? Are you going to send out Metang? You know what? Let's keep battling. Screw it. Because this Pokemon's also part Psychic. So, let's stick with uh, the with my uh, <clears throat> Espeon. I mean, sadly, it's only going to do standard damage because, of course, it's Steel-type. But... You know, that's still not too bad. You know, foul play. Why not? Let's really trick uh, Cold Rest. You're just wasting time by using agility. And the fact it's taken two agilities to at least match, or maybe even. Oh well, you've actually managed to uh, get up to speed with my Zoroark. Oh no, you've revealed my true identity. You must not live, Metang. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, I think I'm going to get the experience share to a different Pokemon in a bit. And, yep, you're going to bring out M Magneton. Let's switch Pokemon. Let's switch back to Ember. I'm more psyched than I've ever been. I can still go on. Yes, you can. But of course, if I just use my flamethrower, it's still going to use sturdy. So instead, let's use arm thrust. Yeah, it's not going to do much damage, but I can at least get a decent amount. Oh wow! Are my, are my eyes deceiving me? Did that actually hit five times? What is going on with the game today? Why is it being kind to me with arm thrust all of a sudden? There we go, defeated Colrest. So this is what it means to draw forth the power hidden in your Pokemon. And also, thank you for over 20 grand in money there. Beautiful. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? Sure. I see. To me, that is an ideal answer. To think. That's what you actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out using a scientific approach, even one without a conscience. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step on the wall panel on the other side of the room where QRM is being held. Good luck in your battle. Oh boy. That sounds like it could be a major battle. And you know what? I think this is a good time for me to end this episode and we're going to find out what happens next time. But first, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at this. You've got the whole map of the Univer region here. And extra chairs for some reason, despite the fact you're the only one here. But um, yeah, there we go. Oof, well... Not only did we defeat Zinzalin for a fourth time, but uh, we defeated Colrest, who turned out is actually part of Team Plasma. But, of course, it seems like the ultimate test is probably still ahead, judging by what um, Colrest has just said about Curem. So, this could be interesting, and I think this is a good time for me to end this episode so I can save the game, and we can see what happens next time. So, on that note, thanks very much for watching, everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.